Hi team, welcome back to my channel. So this week in my classes, we've been focusing on namaste, the etymology of where namaste comes from and why we practice this art of bowing in a lot of our classes as a sign of respect, reciprocity, and gratitude to your teachers and all of the people that brought this practice to the Western world. So with that in mind, we are gonna to practice today a lot of bowing. So we're gonna be doing a lot of forward folding, a lot of um, allowing ourselves to really be vulnerable to the practice and be submissive to the poses and just see what comes up. So let's go ahead and start by making Anjali Mudra at hands, hands together at heart center. And Anjali Mudra is different than prayer hands, which is palms pressing flat. Anjali Mudra has this little space between the thumbs as if you're able to hold something that you can offer to a teacher, a guru, or a person of respect in your life. So we're just gonna whisper sweet nothings into our little offering hand position. So go ahead and softly tuck your chin and just create a little bow. And if there's something that you are looking to offer to the practice, to the guru, to the self, please feel free to set that intention in stone now by breathing into the hands and settling into the practice. Just start to take slow, deep breaths feeling as the breath kind of waterfalls over the tips of the fingers, down the tops of your hands. If you don't by any means have anything to offer to your practice or an intention to set, totally fine. We're all just here to feel something outside of ourselves, to get out of the mind and into the body. Let's just take three more slow deep breaths here. Great. Now keeping your eyes closed down, just gently lift your chin away from your chest and circle your arms up and over your head. Take a big stretch as you lift your chin towards the sky. And then exhale, dive over your legs, lower your hands to the floor and crawl forward so that you can settle into child's pose. Your hands will sweep out in front of you. Sit your bum back onto your heels and let your belly melt to the space between your legs. Just take a few moments here to deepen your breath, plug into your practice. Good, now we'll do a little cycling, a little undulating of the spine, if you will. So we'll inhale to lift your head away from the mat, Glide your hands back, sit your bum onto your heels and sweep your arms up over your head. Then exhale, just dive right back down, bowing to the floor. Inhale, drag back, rise up. Exhale, bow. Inhale, drag back. Exhale, bow. One more. Inhale, back. Exhale, bow. Good. Now this time as you inhale, lift your head away from the mat. Suction cup your hands into the floor and pull forward to upward facing dog. Just let your thighs and belly melt towards the floor as your head drops back. And then exhale, roll over your toes into downward facing dog. Soften the heels towards the mat and let your head hang. Every breath is a prayer, is an offering to the self. And ultimately in modern times, the self is the guru. So if there's something that you need, take it adding and subtracting whatever and whenever you feel is necessary. Let's 
inhale, gently walk your feet to your hands at the top of the mat. Let your feet be hip distance apart and just tent your fingers out in front of the feet. Exhale, gently bow over your legs. And we'll do four rounds like this. So inhale to flat back. Exhale to bow. Inhale, flat back. Exhale to bow. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. And let's inhale, rise all the way up to standing this time. And exhale, fold forward, hands to the mat. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, plant your hands, step or jump back, high plank to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, float your thighs. Exhale, downward facing dog over your toes. Good, hold and breathe. These are called full body pranam. Pranam is an element of a practice rather of thankfulness and gratitude. So we bow to the teacher, to the practice, with our entire bodies. For two. And one. As you inhale, travel forward, feet to hands. Exhale, bow over your legs. Inhale, come all the way to standing. Press your palms, lift your gaze. Exhale, full body bow. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, plant your hands, walk up or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing, hold and breathe. We're just getting the body nice and warm, lubricating the joints and muscles with fresh prana. That's your breath. If you're in Kansas City today, you're probably already pretty warm. 700 degrees. For two. And one. Let's inhale, travel forward, feet to hands. Exhale, bow over your legs. Inhale, bend your knees and sit into chair. Sweep your arms up over your head. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the mat. Inhale, flat back, look up. Now, as you exhale, step your left foot to the back. Drop your left knee, relax your back toes. Inhale, arms reach up over your head. As you exhale, sweep your hands behind you, straighten your right leg and take half split. Now, on your inhale, you'll swivel left arm back, right arm forward, square your chest, hips, and left knee to the long edge of the mat. Exhale, left hand to the floor behind you, right arm over your head into gate pose. Inhale, circle your right hand to the floor, spin your left knee to the back, and step to high plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, travel forward, feet to hands. Exhale, bow over your legs. Inhale, bend your knees, sit to chair, arms sweep up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, step your right foot to the back. Drop your knee, relax your toes. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, straighten your left leg. Sweep your hands back to your half split. Now, as you inhale, you swivel your chest, hips, and right knee to face the long edge. Exhale, your right hand to the floor towards the top of the mat. 
Inhale, left hand to the floor, spin your right knee forward, step to high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, hold and breathe. Good, so we'll do this a couple more rounds. It'll start to make more and more sense the more times we do it. Four, three. And one. Inhale, travel forward, feet to hands. Exhale, bow over your legs. Inhale, bend your knees, sit to chair. Exhale, fold forward, hands to mat. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, step your left foot to the back, drop your knee, relax your toes. Inhale, arms reach up over your head. Exhale, hands sweep behind you, straighten your right leg. Inhale, open up to the long edge, so chest, hips, and left knee. Then exhale, left hand to the floor, right arm over your head. Inhale, right hand circles to the mat, and you step to high plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, travel forward, feet to hands. Exhale, bow over your legs. Inhale, bend your knees, sit to chair. Exhale, fold hands to mat. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, step your right foot back, drop your knee, relax your toes. Inhale, arms reach up over your head. Exhale, sweep your hands back, straighten your left leg. Inhale, pivot to the long edge of your mat. Exhale, right hand down, left arm over your head. Inhale, left hand circles to the floor, step to high plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice. Deep breath for three. In your down dog, think about spreading your fingers wide. For two. Spiral your forearms in and your shoulders out. And one. Inhale, travel forward, feet to hands. Exhale, bow over your legs. Inhale, bend your knees, sit to chair. Exhale, fold hands to mat. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, step your left foot back, drop your knee, relax your toes. Inhale, arms up. We're going to cycle this time a little bit differently. So just take a moment here. Let your back thigh melt to the floor. So if you're in this kind of crescent lunge, runner's lunge shape, and you're back here with the shin down and the hips up, I want to see this front knee come more forward, more forward until it stacks over the ankle and your hips melt to the mat. So the back thigh is on the floor, not the knee or not the shin. <sighs> Let's take a big inhale through your fingers. Now exhale, straighten your right leg, sweep your hands back. Inhale, bend your front knee, arms over your head. Exhale, back to half split. Inhale, arms over your head. Two more. Exhale, half split. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, half split. Inhale to your crescent moon and stay. Exhale, turn your back toes under. Inhale. Lift your back knee, rise to a high crescent lunge. 
stay here for a moment. Draw your tail slightly under so that your back leg comes online. Exhale, sweep your hands behind you. Take weight into your front foot and drag your left leg into warrior three. Pull your left hip down towards the floor and let your leg and chest be on the same plane of height. Four, three. And one, flex your left foot, hover it under the body, rise all the way up to stand, kick your left leg out in front of you. Now I'm going to give you a couple of options. You'll interlace your fingers and either hammock them to a bent left knee just in front of the shin or just below the knee. Otherwise, you'll take these interlaced fingers and hammock them under the sole of your left foot. Then you start to straighten your leg. And exhale, bow your head even if you have a bent knee. For three. Two. And one. Inhale, head comes up. Exhale, pull your left foot into half lotus. Figure four or tree. Totally up to you. So if you're taking half lotus, the pinky toe edge of the foot comes into the right hip crease. If you're taking figure four, the foot comes down a bit. And if you're taking tree, foot above or below your knee. Okay, wherever you are, hold and breathe for three. Two. And one. Good. From here, let's gently exhale. Slide your left foot to cross over the top of your right. Inhale, arms sweep up over your head. Exhale, fold forward, take your hands to the mat. Inhale, push to straight arms flat back. And just be sure that your hands are out in front of you with the middle finger towards the top corners. Rise to the balls of your feet. Take your knees as wide as your arms. Bend your elbows, knees to the backs of your triceps. Shift forward for a crossed ankle crow for three. Round your back, heels towards your bum, two. And one, you'll walk step or jump back, unwind your feet. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, deep breath. As you inhale, travel forward, walk your feet to your hands. Exhale, bow over your legs. Inhale, bend your knees, sit to chair. Exhale, fold forward, hands to mat. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right foot to the back, drop your right knee, relax your toes. Inhale, arms reach up over your head. Good, so we take a moment here to deeply bend into your front knee so it stacks over your ankle, right thigh towards the floor, not just the knee, not just the shin. Good, now take a big inhale, reach through your fingers. And exhale, straighten your left leg, sweep your hands behind you, half split. Inhale, back to crescent moon. Exhale, half split. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, half split. Inhale, crescent moon. One more, just for good measure. Exhale, half split. Inhale, crescent moon, and stay. Turn your back toes under, exhale. Inhale, rise up off that back knee and come to crescent lunge. Find your stability. 
So you can exhale, sweep your hands back behind you, take weight into your front leg and lift right leg into the air for warrior three. Two. And one, flex your right foot, hover it under the body, rise all the way up to stand, arms over your head. Exhale, interlace your fingers and either hook to the sole of the foot or to the knee. Exhale, bow. For three. Two. And one. Inhale, head up. Exhale, right foot pulls into half lotus, figure four or tree, whatever's available. Don't force lotus in the knee, the ankle, or the hip if it's not there. Now, I like to take the left hand to the top of the right foot and the right hand behind the back to the eye of the elbow. So if that's an option, you're welcome to take it. And then just draw your belly in, tail under, and try to mitigate that arch in your low spine for three. Two. And one, whichever option you're taking, gently release your right foot to cross over your left. Inhale, arms reach up over your head. Exhale, fold forward over your cross legs, take your hands to the floor. Perfect. Inhale to a flat back, look up. Turn your fingers slightly out. Rise to the balls of your feet, separate your knees. Elbows bend, knees to the backs of your triceps, and you play with a cross leg curl for three. Round your back, point your toes, heels to your bum, two. Gaze out in front of you to the floor. One, jump or step back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing, hold and breathe. Hmm. For three. Feel free to pedal push if you like. Two. And one. As you inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, walk your hands to the back of the mat and either frame your left foot or wrap your hands behind your left ankle and take standing split. This pose is not about how high you can get your top leg. It's about the foundation that you build from the ground up. So push into your left big toe and try not to open your right hip towards the wall outside of you. Now, as you inhale, start to lift yourself back up. Flex your right foot, hover it under the body, rise all the way to stand. Now, you'll swivel your left arm forward, right arm back, hold here. Exhale, step your right foot down in front of you. Lower your left hand to the mat, lift your left leg, and we will windmill. Inhale, flex your left foot, hover it under the body, rise all the way to stand, right arm forward, left arm back. So arms are opposite of legs. Exhale, left foot down in front of your right, right hand to the floor, right leg lifts. <sighs> Inhale, come all the way up, right leg in front, left arm in front. This time, bend your right knee. Step your right foot back behind you and pivot your toes towards the long edge. Exhale, bow over your legs, take your hands to the floor. Now, once you get here, totally up to you. I don't have any arm balances in this sequence besides that crow. So if you wanna get upside down, take headstand, handstand, whatever you're working on, feel free to play for five. Four. 
If you're just in your forward fold with straddle legs, tip forward into the balls of your feet until your hamstrings come online. For three. Two. And one. If you're lifted, make your way down. Go ahead and inhale, push to straight arms, flat back, and just meet us here. Walk your hands forward towards your left foot and pivot both feet to face the top of the mat for pyramid. You are welcome to leave your hands as they are or walk them out in front. However, if you have to bend your front knee, I would rather you crawl up your shin and keep your legs straight. Four, three. Two. And one. Flatten your palms to the floor. You might have to bend your left leg to do so. Drag your left leg back behind you into three-legged dog. Start to walk your hands to the back of the mat for standing split. Take any version that you like. Just try to avoid rolling the hip open towards the long edge, right? You want to pull that hip down just like we do in warrior three. Two. And one, start to inhale, rise up. Flex your left foot, hover left foot under the body, swivel right arm forward, left arm back, come to standing. Exhale, set your left foot down in front of your right. Lower your right hand, lift your right leg. Inhale, foot under the body, rise to stand. Left arm forward, right leg forward. Exhale, set your foot down, lower your left hand, lift your left foot. Inhale, come all the way up, left leg in front, right arm in front. Now bend your left knee and step back, pivot your toes to face the long edge for straddle. This time, let's go ahead and interlace your fingers behind your back unless you want to play with an arm balance. And exhale, bow over your legs. Hands will come away from your low back as you shift forward and through the legs with the torso. For three. Two. And one. Inhale, lift until your chest is square to the floor. Lower your hands to the mat, exhale. Walk your hands forward to pyramid at the top of the mat. So pivot both feet to face forward and then take any version that works for you. So again, if you have to bend your front knee, it's better if you just bring your hands up to your shin to maintain that straight leg. For three. Two. And one. Go ahead and flatten your palms, even if you have to bend your front leg. And then drag your right leg into three-legged dog. Pull your right knee in towards your belly and set your foot down to the space between your hands. Inhale, arms reach up over your head, crescent lunge. Exhale, airplane your arms, offer your heart over your thigh. Inhale, unwind to warrior two. Spin your back heel down and a deep bend into your front knee. Exhale. Inhale, flip your front palm, take reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel your left hand to the inside of your right foot for lizard. Back heel spins up, right arm high. Good, now we'll revisit that gate pose entry that we worked at the beginning of our practice. So you'll gently lower your left knee to the floor. Relax your back toes. 
Rise up, swivel chest, hips, and knee to face the long edge. Straighten your right leg and lower your left hand to the floor behind you for your gatekeeper. Maybe you want to circle your right arm, stretch your shoulder a bit. I saw a couple people playing this week in this pose with different leg movements. If you want to lift your right leg or hook it behind your back or anything like that, take it. Now stay as long as you like if you're playing. Otherwise, let's gently lower your right hand to the floor. Spin your left knee towards your left wrist and lower yourself into a pigeon. Walk yourself into whatever depth you're ready for and then lower yourself down nice and easy. And just again, come back to this idea of being vulnerable in your practice to find the submission in your poses. Really let gravity take your weight towards the floor. Get out of your head, into your body. For three. Two. And one, let's start to inhale, push yourself back up to flat palms. Turn your back toes under, lift your back knee. Send your left leg high into three-legged dog. Good, now bend your left knee in preparation for wild things. So you can stay like this and just stretch the front thigh, or you can flip your dog, let your straight leg stay straight and your bent leg stay bent for three. Roll your chest to the sky. Two. And one. Left hand to the floor. Left leg high. Three-legged dog. Exhale. Set your left foot down to the space between your hands. And inhale. Arms reach up over your head. Exhale. Airplane your arms behind you. Inhale, unwind to warrior two, and melt into your left knee, exhale. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel your right hand to the inside of your left foot, left arm goes up, gaze to left fingers. Good, again, here's that weird transition, so we'll go ahead and drop your right knee, relax your right toes, Inhale, rise up, pivot your knee, chest, and hips to face the long edge. Left leg goes straight, right hand to the floor, left arm over your head. Play with arm circles if you like, leg variations if those feel good. Four, three. Two. And one. Go ahead and gently circle your left hand to the floor. Spin your right knee towards your right wrist and lower down into pigeon. Your forearms can come down, chest and chin can come down. And just notice where you hold resistance in the body. And if your daily circumstances and activities mirror that resistance. Where else are you resisting change and discomfort in your life, in your relationships? And just breathe into that space for three. Two. And one, let's start to inhale, push yourself back up to straight arms. Turn your back toes under, lift your back knee. Send your right leg high to three-legged dog. And then exhale, bend your right knee. And if you're ready, flip your wild thing. Right arm over your head. Chest comes up towards the sky. 
Last two. And one. Let's flip back to down dog this time. Just soften both feet to the floor. Don't worry about the three-legged. Take a big inhale through your nose. Exhale, mouth. Inhale, come all the way through to a seated position. Send your legs out in front of you. And take your hands to the, either the outsides of your shins, the tops of your legs, or if you can find the outsides of the feet, that's where we're headed. Okay, we're going to do a little undulation here. So as you inhale, come to straight arms, flat back. Exhale, bow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bow. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Let's just stay in the exhale. Take a moment to just fold and bow and breathe. Draw your belly in to make space for your fold. Let's inhale, start to make our way back up. Extend your left arm out in front of you and turn your left thumb down. Left hand finds the outside of your right foot. You might have to bend your knee to take that, okay? We're gonna lean back, lift the heel, and swing your right arm behind you for like a twisted balancing boat. So just be sure your right thigh is not crossing over your left. It comes out of its right hip crease and stays in line for two. And one. Let's look forward. Pull your right foot into half lotus, figure four, or a tree, just like we did earlier. Yeah? Now, as you exhale, you're just going to fold over your left leg either taking the foot or framing the shin. Three. Two. And one, start to inhale, bring it up. Exhale, slide your ankles to cross. Inhale, pull your knees in and tuck your feet under your thighs. Crawl over your legs and step to high plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, come all the way through to seated, however you want to get down. And extend your legs out in front. Now we'll skip the little fold and undulation piece. And let's go ahead and just move straight into that twisted boat. So reach your right arm out in front, turn your right thumb down, take the outside of your left foot, lean back, lift your heel, left arm behind you, gaze towards your left fingers for three. Two. And one, look forward, pull your left foot into half lotus figure four or tree, and exhale, bow over your right leg. Now for some of you who take Ashtanga primary series, you're welcome to add that full bind in Ardha Bada, but just don't force it if it's not there. Yeah? Deep breath. two, and one. We'll inhale, come up, exhale, slide your ankles to cross, inhale, pull your knees in, tuck your feet under your thighs, step to high plank, and lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. 
Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, come all the way through to sit and send your legs out long in front of you. So we're going to roll to Halasana. So I like to scoot just a touch more forward here so that you can end up on your back. Now, if you've got a pony, you might want to take it out just for the sake of your neck. <laughs> and we're going to take your hands down next to your thighs. Draw your belly in. Roll to your back. Send your legs over your head and take your hands to your low spine. Now, once you get here, try to lift your chin a half inch away from the floor just to give you more space to breathe. For three. Two. One. Lower your hands to the mat. Roll your spine down as slow and controlled as you can. Split your left heel to the floor and pull your right knee into your belly. Left hand takes the outside of your right knee for supine twist. Exhale, take it across the body, gaze over your right shoulder. If you can't breathe, this is not something you want to push through. Find a position where your breath is easy. Inhale, gently roll back to center. And exhale, send your right leg long. Inhale, pull your left knee into your belly. And exhale, take it across the body into twist. Gaze over your left shoulder. Inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale, pull both knees into your belly and let's wrap your hands around your shins. Give yourself a hug, maybe tuck your chin, roll on your back, massage your spine. From here, let's explode into rest. Just let your legs go nice and long, nice and wide. Let your hands lay open next to your sides and your eyes close down. Take a big deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, mouth. Let your tongue float. Teeth separate. Jaw comes unhinged. Body melts. Per usual, you're welcome to pause or stop the video and stay here as long as you like. Or if and when you're ready to awaken, just start to bring life back into fingers and toes with gentle wiggles. Take a moment to swallow, lubricate your throat. Sweep your arms up over your head. Take a big body on. Pull your knees in towards your belly. And roll to one side, creating a little pillow with your arm. Inhale to slowly push yourself up into your comfortable seat. Keep your eyes closed down, bring your hands together at heart center, and we'll take three breaths to finish our practice. Deep inhale through your nose for mind. Inhale, body. Inhale, spirit. Namaste.